Are you ready? So the last two, well, year and a half, I guess, um, I've been traveling all over the country playing Monday qualifiers or trying to play Monday qualifiers, actually playing pre-qualifiers to get into Monday qualifiers. And I've been successful at that a few times. Um, but I hear this a lot. Are you ready? Uh, you know, do you think you're ready? You know, what do you think your chances are? And um, I, it's a tough question to answer. And I think I had really no idea what it took to be ready um, a year ago, for sure. And even maybe even six months ago, I, I didn't really quite get it. Um, but earlier this spring, I had some, I just gained some insight as to like where my game was, or, or even before that, what I needed to know about before I could even answer the question. And, and one of the things I think I really had to learn was my game and, and like really how to judge and understand my own game and, you know, where it was and, and what it was, where my strengths were and where my, my weaknesses were. So, uh, in Houston earlier this year, I played a qualifying tournament uh, for the Shell Houston Open, and in the pre-qualifying round, I hit 16 greens and shot 78, which is, um, if you're not familiar with like statistics-wise, basically the leader on the PGA Tour in, in uh, greens and regulation percentage, he'll hit about 13 greens per round every you know, that'll be his average for the year. That will lead the PGA Tour. So to hit 16 greens in a round um, is is a pretty solid number. And with that kind of, um, you know, hitting 16 greens is like, it should be good enough for an under par round. So the fact that I shot, I, I think I shot, I shot 76. So the fact that I shot 76 with 16 greens regulation told me a little bit about where my game was. And... You know, going back through the round, I just really had to take a look at my short game because uh, obviously I hit so many greens in regulation that um, there was something lacking. So I developed um, a plan and I, I went online and just did a bunch of stat checking just to find out, you know, what tour players did, you know, how many, what percentage of putts they made at three feet, what percentage of putts they made at six feet, what percentage of putts they made at nine feet. And I just went through all of these stats to figure out where I stood. And then I, I developed some tests, you know, I, I tried to create as much pressure as possible. And I did these drills or these tests. And I found that I was like, really not ready. So, um, which was kind of good. It was really nice to know that I was so far away in a sense. I, I know that sounds kind of contradictory to the plan, but up until that point, I was always just kind of wondering, like, is it my mental game? Is it my, do I not hit it far enough? Do I, am I trying to hit it too far? You know, what, what was it? And with those stats, I was really able to get some finite answers. And so what's really cool is after Houston and after San Antonio, which were kind of back to back weeks for me, I, uh, I just started, I just put these drills to work. Uh, these drills just consisted of three foot, six foot, nine foot putts, and then makeable purdy putts, which, which I considered uh, 15 to 25 feet. So I did, um, you know, a large number of my practice on the putting green, or a large amount of my time on the putting green. And then I did chipping drills from five yards, 10 yards, 15 yards, and 20 yards. And then I did pitching drills from 10 yards, 15 yards, and 20 yards. And then I did bunker drills. So. I did all of these drills and I did all this stuff and I kept track each each time I would do this drill or I would I would kind of I would give myself this test I would keep track of my results and they kept getting better and better and better and so I felt like okay this is this is really positive well it only took about three weeks and uh, I went to New Orleans and I had a round where I played in some of the worst conditions I I you know we always say this, like, it was the worst conditions I've ever played in, but they were pretty bad. And it was raining and it was cold, and at one point there was sleet falling, and I shot even par. And in a round like that, it's all short game. I mean, it's, you hit your tee shot and it's good, you know, you might hit it good, but dead into the wind and it's cold out, the thing might only go 250, you know? And so on a 450 yard hole, now you've got 200 left, you're still into the wind, it's still cold and raining. Needless to say, you missed quite a few greens, um, but my short game was really solid and I shot even par and I believe, I'm not, I can't remember exactly, but I think I tied for ninth 
in that first stage of qualifying. So to me, that was kind of like validation that all that short game work has, had really paid off. So from there, the, I made it through to the Monday qualifier, and on Monday, the weather was beautiful. I started, all, I, I think I was four under through seven, uh, or yeah, I think I was four under through seven, which is like, you know, probably the best start I've had in a long time. Um, and then ended up, I had a double bogey on 10, and I uh, didn't get up and down from a pretty crummy lie in a bunker on, I think on seven. Anyway, I ended up shooting one under, um, which again, was better than the 76 I shot in Houston with all those greens regulations. So I, I really felt like I learned a lot about my game at that point. So that was the first step. The first thing that I really felt like I needed to understand was my own game. And I've always done a pretty good job of preparing for the golf course and trying to get to know the golf course. But I think without really knowing your own game, you can't, you can't really prepare. It's like, it's like going into battle without knowing uh, what kind of weapons you have. I mean, you can't prepare for a golf course if you don't know where your weaknesses and your strengths are. So. The question is, the, the title of this video, Are You Ready? I'm going to Q School, and I'm, this is the first time I've done Q School, and I'm actually at the pre-qualifying site in Houston, I'll, where I'll be there in a couple hours. And So this question comes up all the time, are you ready? And I, I always wonder, like, you know, why are people asking me this? Like, I wish they would stop asking me this question, because I don't know how to answer it. But I think I, you know, it's been, it's been enough times now, and I think I'm starting to figure it out. And I think the, the best way I can answer it, or the only way I can answer it, is to say that I'm ready as I can possibly be. I've done all the work that I can possibly do. I've studied my game, and I've, I've put a plan in place to improve it constantly and monitor it constantly. And I've studied the golf course, and I have a game plan intact for this particular golf course. So, you know, should the should everything go as planned? Should I perform as well as I can? Um, then yeah, of course I'm ready. Um, even if I don't perform as well as I possibly can, I still would say that I'm ready. I, I know my game, I know the golf course, and I have a game plan. So to me, that's about as ready as I think I can get. So hopefully, hopefully it's ready enough, you know. And I'm okay with if it's not because I'll just. Um, I'll just analyze it and continue to try to get better. But I think that pretty much answers the question, at least for me. And maybe, um, maybe it answers the question for you too. So that's it. I am ready.